Hi everybody, welcome back to the amazing Cyberpunk 2077 and let me just show you something really cool that I've been playing around with. Third person mode, of course we're on PC um, and this is a PC mod um, but it's a really fun one I think and really adds something to the game. I think it should really have a third person mode in as um, as standards, uh, as vanilla shouldn't it? Um, but this mod by um, JG I think it is, uh, is very very cool indeed and definitely adds something to the game and it's great to be able to see your character even though my lady does seem to have um, she, she's got a good pair of shoulders on her hasn't she um, and what you can do is you can switch between uh, various camera views um, uh, to find the one you want like and it is uh, customizable as well so you, you can kind of change things but so how do you install it well the first thing you'll need to do is you'll want to make sure that you've got um, uh, Nexus mods working. So I'll put a link in the description below the video to my video on how you get Nexus working and how to download Nexus uh, itself. Um, and then you'll want to go over to nexusmods.com and you'll want to um, is subscribe the right way. To, you'll want to click on the Vortex link or you can do it manually if you want uh, to download JB's uh, third person mod uh, work in progress, but it seems working pretty well. Um, and he does actually have a very, um, well, he, he's got a, a GitHub that's got instructions on how to install it as well. And what he does, he does go through the manual install process as well, if you don't want to use Vortex. But I found uh, installing to Vortex was fine. Just bear in mind, of course, is that this um, mod does have some requirements. So you will need Cyber Engine Tweaks installed as well. So make sure you install Cyber Engine Tweaks first. Um, and then restart, restart Cyberpunk. Now, if you haven't installed Cyber Engine Tweaks first, what will happen is when you first load it up, it'll ask you to uh, give a, give a hotkey to Cyber en Engine Tweaks. Um, and then in order to get the third person mod working, um, we need to assign some hotkeys to it. It doesn't just work as standard. So once you've got them uh, working, um, go back into the game, fire up the game, and then what you'll want to do um, so that obviously the game will kind of look like this to start off with. You'll just be in normal first person mode. And then bring up Cyber M Engine Tweaks with however you decide to, whatever your hotkey is. Mine is uh, Shift um, forward slash. And then you need to go uh, into, the, uh, into the binding section. And all your mods that need bindings will appear here. And as you can see, there's JB third person mod. So we need to give it a give it a binding and so the first thing one you want to do is how to activate it now I've given it shift hash um, so if we just click that it will say binding shift hash and I've put as in to shift to the next camera view uh, which is shift and um, apostrophe it might be different on an American keyboard and to open the debug menu I've done uh, shift and uh, semicolon so the 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 three that are next to your enter key um, and then there are some other ones as well, but they're good ones to start off with. And they don't clash with any other things. And once you've done that, if you hit save, um, and then you can come out of um, Cyber Engine uh, by you know, using the hotkey. And all we do is, for me, shift hash. And then we go into third person view. And then if I do shift apostrophe, I can shift through the various modes. And then if you want to bring up the debug menu, um, if you just press shift and the hotkey it will come up but you won't have a mouse so you really you need to open up um, cyber engine tweaks with shift forward slash that will bring that up and then you can kind of move the, you can move the windows around to get to the debug um, details where you can you can play around with it a bit but to be honest I think really um, it's pretty good as it is now when you draw your weapon um, you will go into first person mode at the moment as far as I can tell there is a third person weapon mode um, and also when you go into a vehicle um, that kind of o overrides it as well um, but as you can see I mean uh, this is, looks um, can we jump over there? I don't think we can can we? No. as you can see I think this looks it looks and works very very well unfortunately only PC only but hopefully when you have mods like this that are really cool and people really like uh, it gives the devs um, reason to uh, install them in the uh, in the base game doesn't it so anyway uh, great mod uh, it's working process process 
progress, so we should see some uh, other improvements to it coming along too. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, put them down below. Hopefully you found the video useful. If you have, hit like. Uh, if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I will see you again soon.